Well, hey there, everyone. So it's been a very productive couple of days here. Uh, we have probably put about uh, eh, 60 tons of uh, parts on the mill in the last two days. So uh, let's take a look at what we've done here. So on the mill stand itself, we now have all four vertical rolls in place. So those all went in yesterday. The uh, two gears for the screw downs are up there. Uh, this one over here isn't quite sitting down in its uh, bolt holes yet. We've got to rotate the in that entire screw up there to get to get that lined up so it'll fit down in. So uh, we'll get that taken care of next week. Uh, but the the big thing is here on the pinion stand, we, we got the two pinion gears in place. So each one of those, that was about 20,000 pounds, that was about 30,000 um, pounds. Put the lower one in yesterday, then put the upper one in today, and then put the two uh, tie pieces in up above. Uh, so this, uh, this side frame has a break in it broken half right there so we had to do a little finagling with it uh, we got some cribbing underneath the bottom to uh, to hold the larger side and then we set the, the smaller side in place so they made up and now that the chocks and everything are in place and the upper tie uh, tie casting is in and of course the bottom is each side down over the uh, mill shoes so we could take that cribbing back out I mean it's not going to go anywhere it's nowhere it can go so uh, yeah all this is done we're going to try to put on Monday the uh, the train of gears that go up here so that they transmit power from that large gear spur gear up to the horizontal shaft that goes in there to to run the uh, ver um, vertical rolls through the bevel gears. So we'd like to get that put in, and it's a rather large assembly sitting outside. So we have to basically bring a crane in, hang it, and then there are two pins that go in from the side here to hold it in place. So we'll need a you know a second machine to hold uh, the. Um, uh, well, well, we'll be using the uh, the 50 ton crane there for holding the train of gears and then another machine for holding the pins um, in the, as you push them into the side. And we've what we've rented for a couple of weeks is uh, this thing. Uh, this is only about the second time I've ever seen one. This is the only time I've ever used it. It's a it's a telehandler, it's a crane, it can be a man lift, it can be whatever you want it to be. Uh, the upper works rotates on the bottom so that you can use it as a traditional telehandler or if you want to pick something up and rotate, you can put the outriggers down and you have uh, you know, 13,000 pounds of capacity. Um, and also you can use this as a, uh, a man lift if you put a man basket on the forks, there is actually a uh, remote control for this thing. And I think it's sitting up in the back, but yeah, there's a, there's a remote control for it so that you can run it from the, uh, from the man basket. So it, uh, it can do just about anything. And it's a, uh, it's a rental from uh, Cleveland Brothers uh, Cat. Uh, we've had it for one week already and uh, we figure we're gonna need it for another week because some of the some of the stuff on the mill in addition to putting those those horizontal pins in we'll need two machines for like for instance there are a bunch of two and a half inch diameter bolts that run through here tying things together and then there are spacers that go in between and some of the spacers look like this And then over here, 
and then we have all of these uh, tie bolts. So, when we go to put these spacers in, you need something to hold the spacer in place, and then you need something to pick up the bolt. Uh, so, with the Magni and the telehandler, and maybe rigging off of whatever we have up here, we can get uh, um, you know get those those pieces put in. Well, let's see what else we have uh, going on here. Oh, I brought out the the one historic American engineering record photo to show the uh, show the guys how the thing is, this thing is supposed to look. So yeah, we still have this piece to put in, which goes right here. And on top of that is a DC motor. And that DC motor drives this shaft, which turns this gear, which then works the trains of gears here to move the uh, move the screws in and out, which move the uh, or, or vertical rolls in and out. So we have this to bring in. We have all of this. We also have this large shaft, which is that right there. So that has to go up here in its bearings. And there's two of those. And then there are the uh, other shafts that go through for that bearing all the way through. Um, and those are sitting right there. And they also have to go on. And then there's the spindles. So this spindle would transmit the power from the bottom pinion over to the bottom mill roll. And so it'll go in right here. And then there was, there was a couple of saddles here, the cross piece with a bearing, and that would basically take most of the weight of that spindle. And you can, you can see that right here. Those are sitting out back. That has to come in. And the same thing on this side for the, uh, for the other side of the um, from the pinion connection to the engine that that also has to come in and then there are couplings such as this right here and these couplings you know, make the connections here uh, we only have the two spindles there was a third one that came across that went to the upper roll of course we don't have either of the horizontal rolls we don't have the roll chocks we don't have this upper spindle uh, so none of that can be put in, and as you can see, the stuff was gone when they got the mill. All right, so um, first, a big question on everyone's mind is um, whether or not we could get the crankshaft set in place. Um, so we're still we're still working on on getting that figured out, but uh, we hope to be able to do that fairly soon um, oh well here you might notice that uh, in other videos we had that big roller table here so it left yesterday morning it went out back so now we made up a lot more space yeah these are the pins the horizontal pins I was telling you about earlier that uh, have to hold that uh, that train of gears in place so we'll clean this stuff up Monday and if, if things go well, we might be able to get the gears in and these pushed in place and at least get that, that done. Um, we'll still have, um, there'll still be a few more days with the crane in addition to whenever the crankshaft goes on, um, just putting smaller parts on here. So, uh, all right, everyone. I'm going to head home and work on the Todd engine this weekend in JNL 62, and I'll be back here first thing Monday morning and uh, get back at it. So take care, everyone.